right now who's playing the best and who is the best or early predictions who's at the palestra i will go like this this is what i'll say i have seen i have personally seen newman on a webcast west wood on a webcast ryan Roman. I know what else is going on because I follow it very closely. I know who's playing well. I know Carol has been has been playing well. I know Devin Prep had a unbelievable upset win. You know, we 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 could we were we 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 didn't believe the score when they beat Reading, but then I found out Reading had two key players out. Mm-hmm. It's still a win, it's still going up there and beating Reading. Um Right now, here's what I would say. I think it's Newman. I think it's West. I think it's Ryan. I think it's Wood. Oh! I think it's Roman. You're naming five teams now. You know that. You named five teams. So the first four did not include your alma mater. I just don't. There's something missing. And maybe they'll get it fixed. And... You know, I think they'll always end up at the Palestra. It's, it's a home. It's our it's our home. But just right now, they have to get better. I know X, X, Xavier Brown was hurt a little bit, banged up. He's I know really, Skillings was out with COVID. They have to, or he, yeah, the boot like they have to get better, and, and they will. They will. But those five teams, I think, in in my opinion, are fighting for four spots. I think Carroll, I'm hesitant to say Devin because they're they're yes, they're in the Catholic League, but they just they're they haven't, they haven't got you know they haven't got there yet. Like to to the a signature win at Newman, at Roman. Sal, just not enough. Sal, just not enough. But I think Devin, Carroll, and LaSalle are in the next mix. Mm-hmm. Um but the I prep, think the prep is just too young. Way too young. Way too young. They're just they're 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 they're, they're well coached. Um, Got a good big kid. He's, the big he's kid is good. They have some upperclassmen coming off the bench that are solid. But those young kids are special. They're well, just McKee not, is is McKee the best freshman that you see? Yeah, I don't think it's close. Yeah, he he's getting I'm, like close to sixteen a game, shooting sixty no, percent from three, fifty nine percent from the field. You know what I like about him most are just nothing extra, man. Just a straight no, no. hot dog. No he relish, plays, no he onions, like his, no he muscle. Plays game like his father. He plays that's the game the, like his father. And that's a compliment. That's that not, is that's really not, a compliment. That's a, that's a huge compliment. And he's a, and he's sneaky, a sneaky athlete, athlete. At, at, at 14. By the time he's 17, I think he'll it won't be sneaky. You know, no, he gets a little stronger, a little bigger. He's got a chance. It's just, he's just going to take his lumps because there's nobody else. Like every other freshman that's come into the Catholic League, they've always had another guy. Like they've always, they've always, Xavier Brown, he had dudes next to him. They're Aaron's got to carry the load for, he, for the prep. The, 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 him and uh, and Chamberlain. Like they, they got to do everything. And it's just not, they're just not ready for that yet. Well, I, I like your first three. I, I definitely think Ryan. I, I think Ryan's been there like six out of the past eight years, something like that. No, he's, I think he's, Ryan will be there. And you're, you're, I'm, I'm start, I have to start checking the shirts you wear underneath your hoodies, because all of a sudden you got this infatuation with Ryan. It, 
I like Ryan, man. I, I do. I, 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 it's not. I got a lot of people. I'm not going to. I'm not going to. I'm not going to run away from that. I, I like Aaron Lemon Warren. I like Luke Boy. I like those Ryan kids. I like Stone. I, and 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 you know what it is? You spend time around the kids and you get to know them. And they're just really respectful kids. And and Joe runs a good program. He has expectations. Joe does a terrific job. I like him. So I got Ryan. I got West. Um, I think this is it for Boke. This is the test for Boke. Boke's been building towards this for like four years now. And, and here we are. And Agreed. it's coming together for him. He hasn't lost. We would have been at a magnificent game right now as we speak. And, and it got knocked off. And I'm sorry, Boke. You're my guy. My guy, Boke. I love you. You have to win that game for us to have you in this best in the city's conversation it's time it's time to win that game it, 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 they're good enough they're talented enough they have enough pieces they have enough mixture obviously the twins are similar guys but they have enough you know variety not, on zion roster. stanford is just a one of the, a tough kid at yeah, the high school they, level they have, he's just... they have pieces they have all the pieces they have all the pieces so I wish we were there tonight. We will get to it when it when they reschedule it. Um, let's talk about the players. Uh, let me get my four. Let me get my four in. Yeah, oh, four. I'm not yeah. changing from my preseason four. I had okay. Ryan. I had Newman like one. Ryan two. Okay. Then I had West, and then I had. Um, I did not have Roman. No, I had Roman. I did not have Wood, and and my good friend John Mosco. Mention that to me. Ah, I like Wood. But the way you feel about Roman is the way I feel about Wood. Like, they're right there. They're counting on really young guys to do a lot. And, you know, John had to turn over. He turned over about – John might have turned over 3,000 points from last oh, he, year or more. Oh, he did. Easy. Easy. So, you know, that, that's a lot. That's a lot. But And, and he lost his right-hand man. Yeah, who's Listen, John? John's had a lot to deal with yes. going into the season. Yes. So no, I'm not, I'm not convinced. Not. Hey, Johnny, it wouldn't surprise me if you were there, but if somebody pointed one of them guns at me and said, "Give me four teams," I wouldn't have Wood in there right now. Okay. I would. And I agree with you about Chris. I actually went to Judge and uh, watched them play at Ryan, and Chris had those kids prepared. They he had a hell of a game plan. He jumped out on them 28 to 8. You could just tell that they had spent an enormous amount of time and effort getting ready for that game. But overall, as we transition to talking about the players, Thomas Sorber is just a problem. At 15, 16 years old, he's coming in at 6'9, 260. He's patient, he's skilled, he's got a lot of good footwork. He puts that big ass on people. You're not getting around him. He's going to box you out. He has seven blocks against Father Judge. And he's not exploding off of the floor, Art. So, you know, he's, he's patient. He's, he's, he's a patient. land lover. He's a land lover. He's, he's an fun. old school center. You don't, you all these stretch you fives, ready? stretch you fours. Ready? You ready for my comp? Yep. His son plays in the league. Who? He's Mark Jackson. That's a good comp. Mark was nastier than Thomas. If Thomas can get that nasty. Okay, so this is what I was saying. This is where I was going with it. Mark didn't get nasty until his senior year. He was Mark was filthy nasty, man. His senior year. Earlier, not so much. They are extremely similar kids. And I think that's the only thing that keeps Subers from being just the biggest problem in the Catholic League. If he was mean, I'm not sure. I wouldn't tell you that Ryan would be cutting down the nets mm -hmm. if he was mean. But I'll tell you what happens. Ryan has a cover-up for him. That kid, Luke Boyd, is nasty. He is a nasty dude. He is tough. He is confident. And he competes. He knows his role, too. You know, it took a while. Uh, you know, he's been out there. Him and Snead have been like three-year starters up there. But their roles have evolved and changed over the years. You know, so you had Lemon Warren. He was a bucket. I mean, you just could go to Aaron and he'll get you 20, 25. This year, Luke's got to be that guy 
on that team. And he's embraced that. And he's yep. making the shots. He's a little streaky with the jump shot. The thing that impresses me the most about Luke is, again, the fact that he's a little, he's got a nice little nasty mean streak. He wants to win. He'll kick you, grab you, scratch you. But he's athletic. At 6'1", he'll jump up and bang that thing and surprise you, you know. You know, hang on the rim, smack the backboard a little bit. He likes to score. I'm a Luke fan, man. I tell you what, we're talking about Ivy League games, and you know they play Friday, Saturdays. There's some scores out here right now. I know this is our promo, but goodness gracious, Columbia is the worst team in the Ivy League. Princeton is the best. They are uh, Columbia is up 45-33 at the half. The Ivy League is is wild this year. Well, I have no idea who's really good. So you know, I, I have some friends that gamble, and they tell me there's just unpredictable out there. All right, you don't know who's going to show up. You, you don't know no what's in. You, you COVID. You have no idea. Nobody knows the like stories like Drexel practicing one time. Mm -hmm. Like, how do you know that? You don't know anything. VCU, I'll give you an example. My, my cousin and, and your boy Jimmy, he was on the back of the plane landing in Dayton the other night. He turns his phone on. He's got 15 text messages from the medical staff telling him that the starting center's got to get off the plane and, and, and be quarantined. And he had to be put on a bus. They had to get him on a bus back to the... He sent, they, uh, his own bus and drove him back to Richmond. Wow. It's a, this is a circus right now. It's an absolute circus. Nobody has any idea what's going on. You don't know who's going to show up. We went to Michigan Rutgers. My uncle's a coach at Michigan. I had no idea they had five guys in, left at home in Ann Arbor. So, so far, we've mentioned Sorber. We've mentioned Boyd. Give me a couple other guys that are jumping out to you early on in the Catholic League. Uh, you know, I think, I think, Skillings and Browns, uh, Skillings and, and Brown at Roman are, are tremendous. I think they are are both. They both have to be good if Roman's going to make a legit run at the championship. Uh, yeah, you're not going to put that same got, pressure on Farmer. Farmer escapes the pressure. He, he just he. Those two guys have just been there, and he's new. I think those guys are veterans they have, of the Catholic League. They got to, they got to, they got to, they got to carry it. I think Farmer's a big piece, obviously. Uh, I think Musad Stewart is a really good player. Um, you know the Watson twins at West. Um, Zion Stanford. Zion Zion Stanford. Um, we have Wright at Newman. You know, there are a lot of really good players in the Catholic League. You're leaving out South Philly's finest. Kafik Myers is leading that Catholic Kafeek League. Myers, yeah. And, and, and he's one of those nasty, filthy little kids. Yeah, he's really <laughs> I, mean, I, I mean, see playing against dudes, telling them, you're a fucking bum. I'm yeah. like, oh, my God. <laughs> I'm going to steal your life. He's going to lose He's taking your heart right out of your chest. What about this kid that's scoring all these points at Devon Prep? Is that a result of that system or this kid? Let me see how you pronounce it. I think it's Lucas Orchid. He's leading the Catholic League in scoring. Is that a product of what Jet? What... I have to get with a good friend of mine who's an assistant at Devon, and I'm going to have to go to a practice if they'll let me in. I got to see what type of player this kid is. I have not seen him, so I will not. I saw him in the summer. I didn't see anybody I think would be leading the Catholic League in scoring. I mean, I mean he, 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 I mean, he's putting up numbers. Big numbers. Num numbers. Now, and the kid, the kid uh, Pettit was their guy, I thought, coming into the year who would, you know, do a yeah, lot for Orkin, them. Orkin, is that how you say the name? Orkin? Yeah, he, he, he jumped out. Yeah, he jumped out on him. He's killing it. He's killing it. So we got Orchid. We got the Watts Twins. Zion Stanford. Hibbs out at. At Carroll, right? Uh, yes, and and uh, of course, the Philly Pride kid at LaSalle, um, the shooter, what's his name? You know who he, who he is, K 
kid shoots the ball really well. Let me see. I can find him. LaSalle. Well, LaSalle's a couple of shooters. Yes. That kid, Verano, Sam Brown. Sam Brown is second in the Catholic League in scoring right now? Yeah. Wow, LaSalle guys are putting up numbers. LaSalle's, point, LaSalle's in that mix, too, with, with that, that third. What about Justin Moore, man? We haven't mentioned him at Justin all. Moore, I mean, listen, we 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 got it. We need a whole show to go over the Catholic League. There's so many players this year, and there's a lot like the Boyd kid, you know, Subers, kids that you didn't know, and 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 kids that are the freshmen that are really making an impact. Whether their team's winning a lot of games, they're having an impact. All right.